Greetings and welcome to my gaming library for the top 10 RTSs. RTS number 4. Well, this is probably gonna surprise a few people. StarCraft is only number 4 indeed. There's a few reasons for that. And mainly um, it's because I do enjoy the gameplay of the last three games. Um, far more than I enjoyed, enjoyed the gameplay of uh, StarCraft. The main draw of uh, StarCraft is, is of course the campaign. And uh, besides that, i am actually never really played this in skirmish and I never felt too hot on the gameplay uh, in general in comparison to the uh, next games. But in honesty, this is of course subjectively and it's basically only my opinion. I don't think there's too much I need to say about this game. Most people uh, who know RTSs will know it in some way. But if you don't and you like RTSs, you should probably give it a go. This is one of the few games I'm actually still capable of finding a CD copy of in retail stores without any problems considering it eight. It's actually quite impressive. Now, you will, uh, if you buy it, often get the uh, complete edition with both the original and the expansion. And story wise, you should start here since it goes uh, through all three factions here and then over into uh, this one with. Uh, continuing the story taking place a little bit after. But if you're gonna play skirmish, you might as well take this one since it just adds. Now I'm just gonna quickly go into the skirmish mode in just a minute to show a few of the units, but first, just the way the campaign is structured, it's not structured as uh, Command and Conquer, for example, or Warcraft. The way it's structured, as you can see, you can still play the other uh, campaign here, but it recommends you, you play them in order since uh, the story goes that way. So in order to avoid confusion or uh, spoil the plot of um, the Protoss campaign uh, in the expansion, you should probably play the, that one before the Terran or the Zerg in uh, the normal Non-expansion, you will start with the Terran, then the Zergs, and then the Protoss, being episode 1, 2, and 3. Now, I'm just gonna quickly select one here. Just something. Yeah, just go random. And because I'm recording the game, it's gonna lag a bit. I don't know why this is. Now, the first thing uh, I probably have to specify is why I chose this one over the, the sequel. Over the sequel, and there's a few reasons. The main reason being that the sequel actually require you to be connected to the internet and I don't think that's that's a major draw on that. Uh, and this one have a little more uh, nostalgia v uh, value as well. Now to talk a little bit a bit about the game. This plays very similar to uh, Warcraft uh, 2 in terms of, uh, of, well, the Warcraft scheme, in terms of the way you have two resources, uh, one being the resource you use for almost anything, uh, in this case it's minerals, and the resource you use for more advanced units, this being Vespian gas. Now, Good to go, when it comes to the buildings, you have uh, two tech trees, no matter which factions there is. Uh, you have two uh, 
options by normal structures and advanced structures, you basically need to get most of the normal structures, depending on which you are for you know, get the advanced structures, you need to get something from here. Let's just... As you can see here, I'm just quickly expanding a bit. But I don't think there's too much to say about this game since it's wide and widely known. If you really want to know more, you can easily find more information. But all in all, this is a game you really should try if you're into RTS and haven't uh, tried yet. It has quite a few uh, interesting features. First of all, the fact that the three factions are so different from each other. Something that wasn't really seen before uh, this game. And there's other games that have it now, but back then, you didn't get uh, that much difference. Even uh, Command and Conquer, which have two factions that have quite a few differences between them. It's not like uh, these, but it, there's a huge difference. Oh no, this is really one of the... Uh, the is that Additional supply required. together with um, the Command and Conquer series, uh, series and uh, the Walker series, this is one of those you should probably try if you're into RTS at some point. They are among the better ones and they are also among the ones that really set most of the trends that you see in RTSs. And that's basically what I have to say uh, about it. So, uh, next time I'm gonna go into the top 3 to see in which games I like the gameplay of more than StarCraft. Well, most people who know the RTS games can probably guess at least one of them since it's one that normally is on a top 10 list that hasn't been mentioned yet. But you'll just have to wait and see.